I'm sorry about that. My camera just let out, but let me just finish this right quick. These last couple of reviews. I'm going to see these, whatever. All right. Um, yeah, this is like a lot of people kind of say this is like his breakthrough album. So, very dope album, by the way. Must have in your collection. Um, yeah, Buster. Then we have um, Ghostface Killer's third studio album, Bulletproof Wallet. Released in 2001 on um, Epic under Razor Sharp. Um, this album, there's like a lot of controversy behind this album. Well, let me start with the singles. Um, singles are. Let's do singles, 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 singles. Never Be the Same Again, featuring Carl Thomas and Ghost Showers. So there was actually two versions of this album. The original version, um, they turned it into Epic Records, Ghost, but it kind of went through some sample clearance issues, so they had to water down some of the beats and stuff like that. And it just got all inconsistent, which was the reason why like a lot of fans were kind of saying this album was not as good as Iron Man or Supreme Clientele. But we listened to like both this album and the original version of this album. It's not a bad album. It's actually possibly maybe my fourth or fifth favorite Ghost album. Like, yeah, he did kind of go R&B with it. But here's the thing. Ghost always had that R&B vibe with him. If you really listen to a shit like Iron Man and Supreme Clientele. So this was like, and you know he's always been kind of like experimental on the low and shit. So... If you guys would have thought that like, the Ghost Dini would be the his first R and B ish album, then they had to check this album out and stuff like that. But if I were you, I would listen to the original album first, then this album. So yeah, must have in your collection. I'm definitely gonna talk about this album one day. And the last album. This album. Tribes last album. We got it from here. Thank you for the service. Um, yes, um, the last Tribe album I got, um, singles albums known for are This Generation and We The People. For, yeah, since I'm already reviewing the Tribe albums, I'm just gonna save this for the review as well, so. I have a lot of shit to say about that, but. All in all, thank y'all for watching, sorry about the whole mess up, and stay tuned for more, peace.